Our lives are laid out on a road of bumps, turns, struggles, and more. How do we respond? How do we endure adversity for learning and growth? I'm Aubrey Johnson, and we'll explore these questions and more on The Roads Rediscovery. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Roads Rediscovery. I'm your host, Aubrey Johnson. The Roads Rediscovery is all about reflecting on the lessons life throws at us for learning and growing and to help uplift others who are struggling. In honor of Valentine's Day 2024, we're bringing you an episode re-release of the top five love songs of your past, resurrecting it from February of 2019. Also, mark your calendars for February 21st. This is when we'll start our midweek late night check-in, broadcasting live on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. We'll do this every week, as long as we can, starting at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Again, that's 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Come and join us and tell us what's on your mind. And finally, while Valentine's Day brings cards, candy, and flowers, please remember that every day, The joy and power of love and the ability to love comes from your heart and the Lord above. I hope you enjoy the episode. Welcome to Aubrey Johnson's Road to Rediscovery podcast. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Road to Rediscovery. My name is Aubrey Johnson. I'm your host. So glad that you are able to join us today. You know, as you know from our last episode, we talked about the emotional impact of music, specifically heartbreak, um, as the soundtrack of our lives. We discussed how a song can cause us to reflect on a past event or relationship. And I also shared with you uh, the top five sad songs of my past. Well, today we're going to discuss love songs that have played a part in our past. These songs can draw your mind's eye back to your youth, perhaps to the early days of, oh, meeting your first love, or even the early courting days of your now spouse, life mate, and best friend. Oh, but how the heart warms of nostalgia back to a simpler time back then, the newness of dating and the euphoric honeymoonish excitement you felt whenever he called you, held your hand, or smelled her perfume. So when you hit a certain age, these types of reflections from a song instantly happens. So with that said, I'm going to share with you the top five love songs of my past. In the soundtrack of my life, these songs are among the deepest, passionate, most genuinely heartfelt memories reminiscent of my past events and relationships. They're songs of pure devotion, togetherness, and undeniable time-strengthened love. So, we'll start with song number five. Song number five is Still in Love by Troop. The young man in this relationship, he may be young, but when you hear what he says in this tune, you undoubtedly know he is in a deep, deep love with every fiber of his being and is so happy to be with the woman of his life. He professes to her that they're just like Romeo and Juliet. Jack and Jill were still in love forever. And in this love pool, our guy drowns deeper and says, Baby, you know we're like no other. We're like a romance in history. We have something real special. Something we'll always keep. I'm glad you were the one I met. I love you, Juliet. Still in Love suggests that there is a possibility of having a loving relationship where the newness, euphoric, and honeymoon-like feeling of being in love just never ends. So that's number five. Number four is Love Ballad by LTD. Yep, that's right. I'm taking it back to the mid-70s with the band that gave Jeffrey Osborne his big break. And he spares no detail when describing what he's feeling. In fact, he gets right to it and proclaims first words of the song, I've never been so much in love before. Then he tells the woman of his dreams that loving you gave me something new that I never felt 
something's changed. No, it's not the feeling that I've had before. Oh, but it's much, much more. Then he continues by saying, what a difference. And when we walk hand in hand, I feel so real. In his words and voice, you could tell that our guy has hit that rare spot where nothing else matters but her. Family or friends may minimize their relationship, but they simply just don't know. And he confirms this with the closing repeated words. And what we have is much more than they can see. That takes us to number three, which is I'm Ready by Tevin Campbell. You know, at the height of his career in the mid 90s, at least in my mind, Tevin represented a young man with an old soul. And in the title track of this album, he, he clearly shows that just because someone is young doesn't necessarily mean they don't know what they want in life. After hearing the first few lines, one may think this is a song of heartbreak when he says, Sometimes when I'm alone, I feel sad. I know you'll leave me once again and take my pride. But this man is in love and he loves this woman so much and is so sure that they are meant to be that to him, she is worth it for him to be the fool. He goes on to say, and maybe I am the fool you call me because I'll be here standing. And he's waiting for her to say the very words that he feels in his heart about her when he says, I'm ready to love you forever. Hey, love now, come and love me forevermore. I tell you, deep beyond the bottom of the ocean, undeniable love to the point where you're just willing to be the fool and nothing else matters. If that's not vulnerability, I don't know what is. We'll come back to songs number two and number one right after this. I'm Jimmy IV, and I'm the creator and host of the Sexy Cool Lounge podcast. It's an inspirational podcast spreading positive energy and good vibes only into the universe through personal discovery, self-love awareness, and empowerment. Now, the Sexy Cool Lounge mission is to help others vibrate higher on their journey through the universe and become the best versions of themselves every day. You can find us over at the website, www.sexycoollounge.com. And if you're on Instagram, give us a follow at Sexy Cool Lounge. And you can follow the podcast on any one of your podcast platforms. You name it, we're there. And if you have an Alexa, just say, hey, Alexa, play the Jimmy IV Sexy Cool Lounge podcast, and she'll make that happen for you as well. Continue to shine bright and radiate your vibe. Welcome back. Number two is one of my favorite songs by uh, the namesake band of one of my favorite towns. It's called Just You and Me by the group Chicago. You can tell from the first note that this is an upbeat, sentimental proclamation of a man's love for his woman of many years, explaining that in no uncertain terms that this is what life is all about. Most people who fall in love and want others to know will pull no punches whatsoever. And this is no different. It starts right out the gate. You are the love of my life. You are my inspiration. Just you and me. Simple and free. Baby, you're everything I've ever dreamed of. And the one line in this song that to me puts it near the top of this list, a simple, concise line that has such a huge meaning and speaks to the most basic, natural, and inherent core of who we are as humans is when he says, and I quote, life is so easy when you're beside me. I tell you, Chicago never fails to amaze. And so that brings us to the number one song of my past. And that tune is Just the Way You Are by Billy Joel. You know, in the midst of Billy Joe's youth rock uh, years of the late 70s, he's demonstrated the musical ability to slow down, write, and sing a love song that is just affectionate and tender. And in Just the Way You Are, he falls in love with a woman who's perfect for him 
and right in every way. And there's nothing, I repeat, nothing she needs to do to make him feel more for her. As he says, I could not love you any better. He reminds her that I said I love you, and that's forever. And this I promise from the heart. He goes on to reaffirm his loyalty, faith, and devotion by saying, I wouldn't leave you in times of trouble. We never could have come this far. I took the good times and I'll take the bad times. I'll take you just the way you are. And throughout the song, he does not sound self-righteous in any way. There's no glimpse of self-righteousness. In fact, he willfully admits to his own shortcomings when he says, you always have my unspoken passion, although I might not seem to care. In my view, this song pays tribute to a man's devotion, tenderness, and love for the one and only woman in his life, with no complexities, no frills, but in the simplest of forms. Well, there you have it. That's my top five memorable love songs of my past, coupled with extraordinary experiences that will always be near and dear to me. In life and love, we often discover the most genuine, deep-hearted songs can be expressed in the simplest of words. And with that, I'll leave you with this thought. When it comes to music, sometimes to find the right words to describe the type of love that makes life worth living, you just have to look back to old school. So what are your top five love songs of your past? If you have a question or comment you'd like to share or wish to be a guest speaker on the show, please reach out to me via email, Podcast at gmail.com. I'd love to hear your feedback and thoughts. Thanks for tuning in. We'll chat later.